How bad is it? Bad. We just lost contact with two of our deep space outposts. There's something massive on long-range scanners. Is this what Shepard warned us about? I'd stake my life on it. How long do we have? Not long. I sent word. The fleets are mobilizing. God help us all. Commander. You're not supposed to call me that anymore, James. Not supposed to salute you either. We gotta go. The defense committee wants to see you. Sounds important. What's going on? Couldn't say. Just told me they needed you. Now. Anderson? Admiral? You look good, Shepard. Maybe a little soft around the edges. How are you holding up since being relieved from duty? It's not so bad once you get used to the hot food and soft beds. We'll get it sorted out. What's going on? Why is everyone in such a hurry? Admiral Hackett's mobilizing the fleets. I'm guessing words made it to Alliance Command. Something big's headed our way. The Reapers? We don't know. Not for certain. What else could it be? If I knew that. It's the Reapers, and we're not ready for them, not by a long shot. Tell that to the Defense Committee. Unless we're planning to talk the Reapers to death, the Committee is a waste of time. They're just scared. None of them have seen what you've seen. You faced down a Reaper. Hell, you spoke to one. That blew the damn thing up. You've seen how they harvest us, what they plan to do to us. You know more about this enemy than anyone. That way they grounded me, took away my ship? You know that's not true. When you blew up the Batarian Relay, hundreds of thousands of Batarians died. It was that or let the Reapers walk through our back door. I know that, Shepard. And so does the Committee. If it wasn't for that, you'd have been court-martialed and left to rot in the brig. That and your good word. Yeah, I trust you, Shepard. And so does the Committee. I'm just a soldier, Anderson. I'm no politician. I don't need you to be either. I just need you to do whatever the hell it takes to help us stop the Reapers. They're expecting you to, Admiral. Good luck in there, Shepard. Anderson? Shepard? Caden? I asked the Major to come. Thought you might want to see a familiar face. How'd it go in there, Major? Okay, I think. Hard to know. I'm just waiting for orders now. Major. You hadn't heard? No. I'm a bit out of the loop these days. Sorry, ma'am. Didn't mean to keep you out of the loop. I'm sure you had your reasons. Yeah, I suppose I did. So it's... It's good to see you. Admiral. Come on. You know the commander? I used to. Admiral Anderson. Shepard. What's the situation? We were hoping you would tell us. The reports coming in are unlike anything we've seen. 
Whole colonies have gone dark. We've lost contact with everything beyond the Soul Relay. Whatever this is, it's incomprehensibly powerful. You brought me here to confirm what you already know. The Reapers are here. Then, how do we stop them? Stop them? This isn't about strategy or tactics. This is about survival. The Reapers are more advanced than we are, more powerful, more intelligent. They don't fear us. And they'll never take pity on us. But there must be some way. If we're going to have any chance at surviving this, we have to stand together. That's it? That's our plan? Admiral, we've lost contact with Luna Base. The moon? It couldn't be that close already. How'd they get past our defenses? Sir, UK headquarters has a visual. We heard from Admiral Hackett. What do we do? The only thing we can. We fight or we die. We should get to the Normandy. Take this. We've got to get moving. This is Admiral Anderson. Report in anyone. Major Alanko, is that you? What's your status? I can't raise the Normandy. You'll have to contact me. We'll meet you at the landing zone. Anderson up. running jump. It's farther than it looks. Come on, let's go. Come on! We'll have- 
have to go this way. Looks clear. Let's go. Major, you read me. I'm patching in Shepard. We're almost to the Normandy. I've got Lieutenant Vega with me. We're taking heavy fire. We're about five minutes out. Say again? Major! Damn it! Come on, we gotta move! Take him out! I'm out of ammo! Good work, let's keep moving. Take these things out the old-fashioned way. Just like basic, hey! Two ways to use a rifle. Look out! Okay? I'm good. Good. Gonna need to find another way through. Watch it! Get out of here. We've got to go. You can't stop them all. Shepard! In here. Ah, this is a goddamn mess. Every minute these machines are here, thousands of innocent people die. I won't be responsible. You can't think about the ones we'll lose. You gotta fight for the ones we can save. Not sure I can do that. I get so fast. I thought we'd have more time. We knew they were coming. And they still just cut through our defenses. We need to go to the Citadel. Talk to the Council. We'll go. If that's what you think we need to do. It might be the only thing that saves us. The Council has to help us. <clears throat> you sure about that? No, but you were a Council Spectre. That has to count for something. Gotcha! <sighs> Thanks. I owe you one. More than one. Grab some ammo. Reload. Let's keep moving.
you okay? I'll live. Normandy, we're going to reroute. Do you copy? Normandy, come in. They're not reading us? Come on. We've got to find a way to get through to them. Friendlies. <laughs> you two all right? Get down. They'll see you. Keep your head down. What happened here? Our gunship was shot down. We barely made it. You have a radio? We're trying to contact our ship. No. There's one in the gunship, but it's gonna be crawling with those things. Stay here, son. We'll get you out of here. <laughs> Come on. Let's get to that gunship. Over there! I found a radio! Normandy, this is Anderson. Do you read? Admiral, what's your location? By a downed gunship in the harbor. I'm activating his distress beacon. Send support. We've got wounded down here. Major! Damn it! I've lost the signal. Let's hope that beacon does its job. And fast, we've got company.
Running out of ammo. About time. Let's go! Welcome aboard, Shepard. Thanks. Shepard! Come on! I'm not going. You saw those men back there. There's a million more like them, and they need a leader. We're in this fight together. It's a fight we can't win. Not without help. We need every species and all their ships to even have a chance at defeating the Reapers. Talk to the Council. Convince them to help us. What if they won't listen? Then make them listen. Now go! That's an order! I don't take orders from you anymore, remember? Consider yourself reinstated, Commander. You know what you have to do. I'll be back for you, and I'll bring every fleet I can. Good luck. You too, Shepard. Hangar seal, decompressing. Welcome aboard, Commander. Edie, it's good to hear your voice. You flying us? <laughs> Seriously? That hurts, Shepard. Hey, Joker, it's good to hear you too. No time for chit chat. We got inbound, and we are seriously outnumbered. Understood, but we're not staying. What's going on? Anderson wants us to go to the Citadel, get help for the fight. Bullshit, he wouldn't order us to leave. He can see what's going on. Without help, this war's already over. 
Then you can drop me off at the nearest depot, because I'm stuck. Lieutenant, you don't want to go. We get it. But this isn't a democracy. We're going to the Citadel. You want out? You can catch a ride back from there. Commander, I'm receiving a priority call from Admiral Hackett. He's requesting Admiral Anderson. Patch it through. Admiral, it's Commander Shepard. Anderson is on the... Shepard. Same heavy losses. The force was overwhelming. There's no way we can defeat them conventionally. Anderson's already ordered me to the Citadel to talk to the Council. First, I need you to... Lance outpost on Mars. Now we lose control of the system. Yes, sir. Joker, set a course for the Mars Archives. Mars? Roger that. This is local. Why Mars? What does he think we'll find there? I don't know. Yet. But if it helps us win this war... Grab your gear. Try to reach Mars on secure channels. No one's answering. Any sign of Reaper activity? Negative. Edie? The base appears to be online. It's possible the inhabitants were evacuated. We'll know soon enough. Be ready, Joker. Just in case. Roger that. Normandy out. We're almost there. Still no contact from the base, but we've got a massive storm headed our way. How long till it hits? Half hour tops. After that, we're gonna have difficulty keeping up comms with the Normandy. Understood. Admiral Stephen Hackett is a decorated officer in the Systems Alliance, currently assigned to Arcturus Station on the far side of the Sol Relay. In the battle for the Citadel, Admiral Hackett commanded the 5th Fleet. Following that victory, he was promoted to head of the Alliance military. Hackett was born to a single mother in Buenos Aires in 2134. When his mother died in the pandemic of 2146, he was placed in the Advanced Training Academy for Juveniles where his superior talents in science and leadership quickly became evident. Hackett enlisted in 2152, volunteering for high-risk missions to colonize space beyond the Sol Relay. He was commissioned as a second lieutenant on Arcturus Station in 2156, and soon proved his ability in the First Contact War. His rare ascent from enlisted man to admiral remains an Alliance legend.
Admiral David Edward Anderson is a career military officer in the Systems Alliance Navy. Born in London in 2137, he later moved to Arcturus Station and became the first graduate of the Alliance's now renowned N7 Marine program. Anderson is one of the Alliance's most decorated Special Forces operatives and served with honor during the First Contact War. He was the original captain of the SSV Normandy before relinquishing command to his XO, Commander Shepard. After the Alliance victory in the Battle of the Citadel, Anderson was promoted to Admiral and chosen to advise Citadel Counselor Donald Udina on military matters. Anderson later became embroiled in a Cerberus plot to abduct his friend Kaylee Sanders, but he foiled the abduction and returned to duty to prepare for the Reaper invasion. Major Caden Alenko is a human biotic and an officer in the Systems Alliance. He served as Staff Lieutenant under Commander Shepard on the SSV Normandy during the Battle of the Citadel and now heads the Special Operations Biotics Division at the Alliance Warfare Center. An Alliance tribunal recently called on Alenko to testify about his experience with the Reapers. Alenko suffers from severe headaches because of the early model L2 biotic implants that he was given as a child. The L2 implants have since been discontinued due to the risk of crippling neurological damage. The Reaper called Harbinger is believed to be the oldest and largest in the Reaper Armada. From the reaches of dark space, Harbinger managed to control the Collectors, a race of human-sized insectoid bipeds, as it sent them on a campaign to kill and gather humans from vulnerable colonies. The Collectors became a terrifying force in the galaxy, responsible for the murder of hundreds of thousands. Surviving colonists have described the tone of Harbinger's threats heard through the Collectors as they attacked as visceral and terrifying. Alliance Intelligence has tentatively identified Harbinger as one of the Reapers leading the attack on Earth. A myth common to several cultures in the galaxy, Reapers were once imagined as space monsters that consumed entire stars. Archaeologists who searched for the sources of such myths found little besides the themes of all-consuming devils that are common to primitive cultures. Although accurate information about the Reapers remains scarce, the galaxy now knows that the Reapers are not a myth. They are a real and devastating threat. Sovereign was the first Reaper encountered by the modern Citadel races. Military leaders initially assumed that Sovereign was a Geth, or Prothean flagship, commanded by Saren Arterius, a rogue specter. The truth was far more alarming. The massive ship was itself intelligent, and Saren proved to be under its control. The attacks by Sovereign against Eden Prime and the Citadel removed any uncertainty about the Reaper's technological superiority. Sovereign's formidable shielding and firepower allowed it to hold off the combined fleets of the Citadel, and its mass effect fields proved powerful enough to let the enormous vessel land on a planet's surface. Sovereign's mission, to open a mass relay that would transport the other Reapers from dark space, proved its undoing. During the Battle of the Citadel, Sovereign linked its consciousness to Saren's. When Saren's death corrupted the signal and shut down Sovereign's shields, Sovereign's destruction soon followed. Cannibals are frontline Reaper units created from corrupted Batarians. The nickname refers to their propensity to devour the bodies of fallen comrades. This triggers a biochemical process through which the cannibals spontaneously heal themselves and grow new chitinous armor. The transformation also appears to give cannibals a greater awareness of their surroundings, 
leading to more strategic behavior and careful use of battlefield cover. Husks are the aggressive, mindless foot soldiers of the Reaper armies. They are created by impaling either living or dead humans on mechanical spikes that rapidly extract water and trace minerals and replace them with cybernetics. These cybernetics reanimate the lifeless flesh and tissue, transforming the bodies into horrifying killing machines. The Reapers use large groups of husks to overwhelm the enemy. The husks' inability to feel pain as well as their tendency to attack in groups makes them particularly deadly adversaries. <laughs> 